here on GoPSUSports.com with Penn State Hockey head coach Guy Gadowski filling in this week for Brian Tripp. Hopefully I do it justice. Uh, your team last weekend, you know, crossing the time zones, crossing the country and being able to come out of it with, with two, you know, really solid wins in an NHL venue. You know, what impressed you most about the weekend? Uh, that we continue to play really well defensively. We started at Notre Dame. I thought we had the best defensive performance of the year so far and it continued on to Arizona State, obviously shutting them out on Friday night and playing a, another very good defensive performance on Saturday. So we're just trying to put the pieces together now. Hopefully we retain what we're doing offensively and continue to get better defensively. If we do that, that's what's that will impress us most. Speaking defensively, over the last three games, your team allowing just three goals, you know, including the goalies as well. You know, what's impressed you the most in terms of the growth that you've seen defensively? Yeah, certainly the goaltenders deserve a lot of that credit, but really it's a team it's a team defensive attitude that's been the change. And we've given up a lot less odd man rushes, which has been the number one cause for what we've been doing defensively. So that has to continue. The the, the challenge is to continue to play high octane offense without giving up the defensive chance. It sounds easy, but it's tough to execute. And then Brandon Byro obviously selected as the Big Ten's third star of the week this week. You know, where have you seen him grow and what's impressed you the most about specifically what he did last week? Uh, well, what impresses everybody the most about Brandon is his tireless work ethic. Like, he's phenomenal. He's, he's here at night shooting pucks. He's, he's skating in the morning. He just does everything he possibly can to become a better athlete. Um, that's what impresses me the most about him. And he's just, he's a dog on a bone. Like, on the ice, he's just relentless. He is absolutely relentless. And, and, and everything, all the work that he's doing is starting to pay off. He was the best player on the ice both nights um, with fantastic goals and tremendous back checks and four checks. He's just, he's really coming into his own. And if he can continue that, we're a lot better off. Switching gears a little bit, Thanksgiving weekend, obviously no classes, but you know, I'm curious, how has that kind of changed or shaped the practice schedule, and what are the team's plans for Thanksgiving? Yeah, well, we'll practice in the morning now, which is sort of nice, and the team will have a nice Thanksgiving dinner, and as it was pointed out, not they're not all Americans, but everybody loves Thanksgiving, so I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. What's not to love about Turkey? Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. being able to come back here this weekend and play in front of the home fans, but, but returning to Big Ten play, you know, what do you need to see from the team to be able to keep this momentum alive? Yeah, so everything gets ratcheted up a little bit with Big Ten, and, mm -hmm. and it's great to come back to Pagula. Um, the students are not going to be here, but the community has really rallied around us. Every time that they've been away, uh, the community has come up big. So we're really looking forward to being back here. We're going to have to play great both offensively and defensively if we hope to beat Michigan State. Well, thank you so much. Wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. Thank you. Thank you.